Okay, so the next one we're going to look at is some obstacle work. And this is really about building your horse's body awareness, but there's often a despooking element involved as well. So especially with Rowan, like she was so anxious about things around her feet that this has been so important to build her general confidence as well as her body awareness. So we always begin, good girl, with a, this side. Really simple exercise, just with one pole. Good. Which is, can you just step over it one foot at a time? Nice, good. Now, with Rowan, yeah, that's brilliant. With Rowan, I um, actually taught her to knock it because she was so worried initially if she'd knocked it like that, very clever. If she'd knocked it like that, she would have exploded, been out of the arena, absolutely terrified at the beginning. So I taught her to start to pull it and knock it, made it a fun game, and it's actually become one of her favorites. Good job. Come back. But now I'm trying to switch the focus to say, okay, that's good. But when I stand here, can we just have a foot over and wait? So this is a really key body awareness piece. And stand, stand. Good, and just getting some, a little bit of duration. She finds it really hard because I've been rewarding her for knocking it so much. Can you go back? Good. And then we'll see if we can just change the legs. And we can get this one. She says, no, I can't do that. We go back. That's it. And this one. Yeah, good. Don't stand on it. <laughs> what a mess, Ro. Try this one. There you go. <laughs> So one of the most common things that can happen is exactly what Rowan's showing here, which is, yeah, if you just reward your horse for uh, stepping over and stepping back, they start to get really fidgety. Yes, beautiful. So you need to put in that downtime in between. And because uh, most of the time up to this point, we've been really focused on her building confidence, touching it and knocking it, then um, of course that's been exacerbated with Rowan. So it's a really good demonstration. And we're just looking for in this position, can we just go, <sighs> just soften, breathe and stand still so that it's not just a frantic rushing. The thing is with reward-based training is the horses try extra hard. <laughs> so they're like, oh, you want me to put my foot over it? Great, I can put this foot over it, back over it. I can put the other foot over it. So it's really important just to build in some of this like, okay, let's just breathe and stand. That was lovely. So that it's just a little bit calmer. That was awesome. Okay, can you go back? Now, I'd like to see if we can get the other foot. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to use the target here. Just try and bring it. Yes. But you've got to think about your feet, haven't you? That's it. There. The target to bring her weight onto that right foot so that it freed up the left foot for her to stand over. Again, that's a really good body awareness exercise and fantastic for building up your horse's symmetry because most horses will have a, ho a foot that they prefer to step over with. That was awesome. That was awesome. So good. Yeah. And again, it's just about the two of you figuring out together. I don't worry about models. I don't worry about mess. As long as you're calm and happy, <laughs> then you'll figure it out. Okay, so then Heinz. Nice. A harder. So I tend to be in front of the horse. Yeah, I know. We've done backing up. Come this way. Nice. Yes, good. And I'm really using my marker here. Brilliant. To click any step. That was awesome. Around the side with the hind feet. Can you come this way? Yes, good. Now, because Rowan's extreme fear was around her hind feet, then backing over, yes, that's been so good. So again, with the hind feet, we worked on, can she knock it? Can she touch it? Is she okay with it directly behind her? And then, can you go back? Yes, so good. Go back. Yeah, and I don't mind that it's a mess because this at the moment that she's not doing, yeah. What she used to do was just, oh, I can't. It's too scary. And especially if it touched her back feet initially, she would really panic. And there's a lot of horses that that's true for. So I really wanted to make sure that she was pretty confident. There we go. Come forwards. That's it. This way. Brilliant. All right, can you go back? Yes. Fabulous. Go back. Yeah, there you go. Really 
confident with it around her feet and then build the body awareness from there. I definitely don't want horses stepping over poles cleanly because they're scared of them. So that's just one exercise that we do, but then you can build up to lots of different ones. So for example, with the, the um, good, yes. With the pole fan, you can start to include some bend with the poles as well. So this comes back to some of the in-hand work that we were doing. And in the middle here, softly, you can see that she just softly, puts two steps, one, two, one, two, one, two, good, in between them. And then you can start to play around with it and say, okay, well, if we go for the far end, can we get three steps? We'll do that in a bit. I know you love it. This way? Good job. Okay, softly, softly, walk. One, two, three, one, two, three, good. So the poles could actually be for slightly spaced further apart for her. Really nice. And then we'll try the tight ones and see if we can just get one step in. Walk, just lift her head slightly so she doesn't get too low. One, 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 yeah. That was brilliant. So you can really start to play around with lots of different exercises, raise the poles, so many, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of pole patterns you can use. And you can really see how then it's combining this, like, can she bend, can she lift, can she be aware of her feet? It's putting all of these bits together, but in a really fun way. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to know more, then please check out the Connection Training Club, which is our online membership site for learning connection training. We have loads of home study courses with really full step-by-step -step videos so they show you exactly how to break it down you get to see lots of different horses learning the process um, and we've got everything from getting started handling healthcare loading riding um, but in terms of the polls the pole work here you have um seen a little bit of the de-spooking the pole work for body awareness and a lot of that is in the gymnastic groundwork course so this really covers looking at um healthy equine movement so the first module is all about how horses move naturally, understanding um, healthy and unhealthy movement, what we're looking for when we're training our horses' bodies um, and their minds as well, because we want them to be moving healthily and happily. In terms of the um, starting with the, the poles, we've got the, the a whole unit on really just getting started with poles. And I'll just dive in there so you can have a little quick look about it. So the first video on that is about overcoming pole fear, working with horses who are scared to even step over a pole, touch a pole, um, that kind of thing, which a lot of horses can be really worried about that step. And certainly with Rowan, it took a while for her to even feel confident to begin to... Um, to address that. And then we've got exercises with a single pole and building up some of that body awareness that you saw. And then lots of exercises working with multiple poles and all sorts of different um, pole exercises. And that is really the kind of beginning of the, the pole work. And um, you'll see lots of different pole exercises on the ground and ridden throughout um, the CT club. Um, and then we've got um, where to move on with that as well. So even if you're more advanced, there's moving on with uh, more advanced exercises, which gives you a whole range of different pole ideas that you can work on with your horse, what you're looking for um, at each stage. Um, and we've even got a PDF that you can download and stuff because it's really good to keep changing them up and to keep it exciting for you and your horse. So that's just a little um, hint of what we've got going on in terms of the pole work, but there's loads of information and throughout the CT Club and you can get loads of support as well through the forum, through coaching, study groups, Q&As and um, video reviews and you can join our super group of members from around the world. If that sounds interesting please check us out at connectiontraining.com. You can find out more about myself and Rachel, our approach and you can also learn more about the CT Club and sign up there as well. Also don't forget to check out our best-selling book. Just go to Amazon, search for Connection Training and it'll pop up there. That's got loads about our training overview, principles and lots of practical tips there too. Thanks for watching and see you soon.